Hey guys, I'm Erin Busby with BusbyStyle.com. Thank you so much for watching. So a while back, a few of you wrote me and said you were really interested in hearing about dressing for different body types. I had shown you in one video how to measure yourself to determine your body type, and I have a link to that video below in case you missed that. So I want to, over the next several weeks, go through and show you exactly how to dress for your particular body type. And the first body type I wanna tackle is the inverted triangle. So that's the upside down triangle. That's when you're bigger through the bust or the shoulders or both and much slimmer through the hips, butt and thigh area. This is not the most challenging body type to dress but it definitely has its challenges. So basically, uh, since you are bigger on your upper body, since your upper body is bigger and your lower body is much smaller, you're going to want to minimize the upper half and call attention to the lower half. So you can wear um, printed pants or printed jeans or printed skirts on your lower half. So you wanna think about adding volume to your lower half and again, minimizing the upper half. You also know that probably your legs are your best asset. It's, they're very slim and thin, so it's nice to highlight them. So I would think about wearing skirts. I would think about wearing fitted pants, fitted trousers to really show off those legs if that is your best feature. The challenge for you inverted triangle body types is if you are much slimmer through the hips, butt, and thighs, you may have no hips and it may be difficult to find dresses to fit you, but you can um, wear A-line skirts and dresses and that will create bigger hips and thighs and create the illusion of bigger hips and thighs as will the prints and the bold colors on your lower half. If you have a big bust, there are ways that you can minimize it. First, you're gonna think about your neckline. You wanna do a V neckline. That's gonna be the most universally flattering neckline and the best neckline for big busts. The scoop is also nice. You just don't wanna to go too far with the scoop or too far with the V and show off too much of a good thing because then it goes from classy to trashy. You might wanna think about a dark color, black, gray, burgundy, plum, uh, navy, dark colors are going to minimize your upper half. You probably are going to want to avoid big bold prints on your upper body if your bust is the biggest part of you. If you're an inverted triangle with really broad shoulders, which in my opinion is a completely different fit issue, there are certain necklines that you should probably avoid. I would, I would steer clear of the bateau or the boat neckline. That is going to accentuate the fact that your shoulders are very broad. The other thing that you need to stay away from if you're broad shouldered is anything with a kind of puff sleeve on the shoulder, any kind of shoulder detail, any kind of shoulder pad. That's all again going to accentuate the fact that you are broad shouldered. It's going to exaggerate that effect and it's not gonna do what you want it to do. So you have to keep it really clean and minimal on the shoulders, so no egregious detail here. I would also steer clear of any ruffles or frilly sleeves that again are gonna add some volume to your shoulders. Um, you know, clean, minimal, clean lines, tailored well. Also, what you can look for is a dress or a top which has the seam, the arm seam. If the arm seam is cheated in a little bit, on both sides. It's going to create the illusion that your shoulders are more narrow. So think about that. Also, the V-neck and the scoop neck is going to work really well for you as well. Again, V-neck, scoop neck, universally flattering necklines. So those will create the illusion again that your, your shoulders are more narrow. And you can see from me, see how sloping and narrow my shoulders are. So things like this with this kind of shoulder detail are actually ideal for me because I do have these really narrow shoulders. So I buy a lot of garments with shoulder details, pleats at the shoulders, puff sleeves, and etc. because it helps my body type. But again, if you're broad, you're gonna wanna think the opposite way and really minimal on the shoulders. Think about cheating your seam in to make it look smaller. Think about Vs and scoops, again, to make your, your shoulders look more narrow. So those are the basic tips for dressing your inverted triangle body type. Again, on the bottom, 
If that's your slimmest part, you're going to want to show it off, but you can also aim to create volume. And you can do that with a printed pair of trousers, a bold color pair of trousers, an A-line skirt, a full skirt, anything that creates the illusion of volume on the lower half to balance, offset the volume that you have on the top so you look more proportionate. I hope that helps you understand your body type a little bit more and how to dress your body type. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm happy to answer your questions. And I will, as I said, be trying um, to do some more body type videos filled with more tips for different body types because that's only just one. We have a lot more to cover. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I'm really trying to grow the channel and uh, my blog as well. Be sure to subscribe to the blog. I'm also on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. So follow me there, check me out there. And um, thank you so much for your support and for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.